Okay, source is the story behind the BDS Adam benching. The BDSM Adam. All right, here we go. Uh, as confirmed by multiple sources close to Sheep Esports, Team BDS has taken the decision to bench its top laner, Adam. Adam, uh, surname I can't pronounce. From its LOL EMEA Championship LEC roster following behavioral issues and overall toxicity towards his teammates and staff. Already infamously known for his controversial days as Europe Toxic Darius main, sources affirm that Adam is now once more at the root of behavioral problems within Team BDS. Per information revealed to Sheep Esports, the top laner allegedly engaged in mocking, flaming, and displaying overall disrespectful behavior towards both coaches and teammates. Furthermore, Sheep Esports sources explain that the player recently displayed tendencies of tilting in team practices and often even quitting scrims out of anger. Per information given to Sheep Esports, these growing pains have persisted since Adam's promotion to Team BDS's LEC roster at the start of 2023. The situation reached its breaking point in the last few weeks when Adam allegedly had a heated argument with the team's head coach, Giannis Stryker Kella, leading to the top liners benching. While the exact details of the argument remain unknown, sources mentioned Adam yelling at Stryker, a claim which would later be corroborated by other sources. At this time, Adam's fate with Team BDS remains unknown. The organization has now made the decision to promote Yannick uh, uh, Gen X Bartels Gen X. To, from its academy roster, while the team envisioned for this change to remain in place for the foreseeable future. It is currently unknown if this decision could potentially be overturned following Team BDS's loss against Mad Lions Koi in the 2024 LEC Winter Playoffs. Um, okay. Okay. So, what I will add to this is that this is not the first time that I have heard stuff like this, right? Um, from what I know about Team BDS, is that it is a constant internal war, and that there is, it is literally it, it, the entire like team that doesn't have to do with management but rather coaches and players is house of cards so everyone lies to each other everyone snakes each other and everyone's just saying different shit to each other and it's basically a civil war um and that is what i've been made aware about the inner workings of bds and like the whatever makeup i guess that you want to describe it for what <laughs> almost a year uh like i mean that i mean that's pretty crazy right so like adam finally like reaching a breaking point or something i can't imagine like what ended up actually transpiring but it's not surprising because a lot of this type of stuff has been happening behind the scenes it's just never reached the light of day all right yeah just you know what just go quiet on me guys yeah it's totally fine yeah that's no problem actually yeah it's fine. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Let's read the Adam tweet now, yeah? Uh, go for it. I, I already right. read it. Oh, my God. Okay, okay. All right, let me read the Adam tweet. So the Adam tweet is uh, in French, uh, and then there's an English version. Good evening, everyone. In view of the accusations made uh, against me by Sander LCS EV uh, Hove, I must be as transparent as possible with you. Okay, so let's... All right, so already the language is, like, bad. I don't know who translated this for him language is not good okay so these are not accusations by evie first off these are not accusations by evie these are accusations by sources that are being reported by evie okay as confirmed by multiple sources close to sheep esports etc uh yada 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 Already infamous, infamously known for his controversial days as Europe's uh, toxic, uh, toxic Darius man, sources affirm that uh, Adam is now once more at the root of behavioral problems within Team BDS. Uh, revealed to Sheep Esports, the top laner allegedly engaged in mocking, flaming, and displaying overall disrespectful behavior towards both coaches and teammates. So Adam says in his latest article, I don't agree with well, his him agreeing or not doesn't actually matter. What, what matters is whatever technically happened right because when, when you give the power to the person um when, when you give the power to the person to choose how they emotionally respond then you enter into this like really weird area where 
you could suddenly then just start saying that uh, you you do, like e even if something was disrespectful or it was tasteless or it was disorderly, etc. You could always just say that you don't agree that it was or something, right? Even even though even if it clearly is, um, so then obviously the other party has to weigh in on this, right? Now, obviously, that's what Evie is reporting on. Don't agree with the accusations that in my career I've shown shines of mockery, insults, and that I was uh, mostly disrespectful with my teammates. Uh, what prompted BD uh, at the end of the split was indeed a discussion that took on certain extremes with Stryker, my head coach, so, okay. Uh, these extremes prompted BDS to bench me temporarily to make me realize my actions have consequences, and I accepted them. Stryker's a person I particularly like and someone who's been there in my career from most of the beginning where I am now. Yes, I have anger problems. That was the point I needed to work on most of my side of the uh, my uh, most on my side for this year. I don't agree with the way the article turned out, inevitably making me look like someone that I'm not. This article is is essentially three paragraphs long, four four paragraphs long. I don't think it's making him turn out into anything. The situation reaches breaking point in the last few weeks when Adam allegedly had a heated argument. What? Not misleading. Adam was recognized as bench for being toxic. Yara said that Adam was toxic towards his teammates since he went in LEC in 2023. This is false. No, it doesn't. Wait. <laughs> oh, it doesn't say that he's toxic towards his teammates. It says that there's growing pains. Uh. Oh, these growing pains. So it's saying that him quitting scrims. I'm not saying that he's he's like it, it, it he, this person's conflating this statement with this one which are two different things not misleading <laughs> wow this person does not get the difference oh my god Oh my god. Wow, this guy does not understand the difference between the two. Oh man. Okay, what else is there? Hold on, let me look. Okay, I mean, the responses are all fine. I mean, it's all fine. It's all fine. Okay, uh, I guess it's, it's, uh, it's a nothing burger. His, his, his tweet response is a nothing burger. I mean, yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, any, anyone that read the article realized that it, it is quite literally four paragraphs. And yeah, I mean, yeah. Fine. Okay, that's it. All right, Solabaka, thank you so much for joining. I am going to go. I'm going to go. I, I have been awake since yesterday, so I'm going to go sleep. Yippee! Okay. Okay. Thank you for joining. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Oh seven. Bye. Oh seven. All right. Bye, chat. I hope you guys enjoyed the draft. Sadly, FlyQuest was not able to, or the drafted team was not able to win in the very end. But I hope that the draft at least was uh, enjoyable. Almost actually came back and won, which was good. But Crimson, twin brother of uh, Hits Rank 1. That's actually, I guess that's actually kind of big because he was the only one that had not done it, right? Uh, oh, we can read this. Uh, we can read this really quick. Morning, everyone. In view of the, let's see. Damage control is here. Never thought. Uh, while well, I'm in front of on Twitter, you get knocking striker pushing back into the allegations. Really, whatever issue striker and Adam have, they moved past it. Oh, I didn't see this. Yeah, this all just seems like this. Ah, uh, it's okay. I mean, look, BDS, House of Cards, uh, politics, and a lot of stuff. So, I mean, it's, it's always going to be a can of worms. Uh, it sucks. I mean, okay. But, yeah, the whole response is kind of a nothing burger. So, sort of whatever. Anyways, guys, that is... Wait, what is this? Oh, wait, hold on. Stryker made a statement. Oh, my lord. Okay. 
I wish to react to the information provided in the article and the reactions following it. There are sometimes within a team difficult moments, moments where the pressure of competition can lead to situations that one would wish to avoid. Adam was indeed sanctioned following behavioral lapse. Okay. Uh, this lapse does not define the player and the person that he is. If the club and I have chosen to continue with him during the offseason, it's precisely because he brings something to the group beyond the in-game aspect. Well, that's if they choose, right? So he's speaking futuristically. And we were satisfied with the relationship he maintains with his teammates and coaches. Every player, every coach, every person has areas for improvement, and Adam has made significant efforts over the year to focus on their own. So, furthermore, it's important to handle the circulating environment with great caution. Some elements are exaggerated. Others are simply false. Uh, the team's life is full of ups and downs. Each season comes with its share of internal problems. And Okay, so it, it's just massive PR uh, comments, right? Um, but we, we've known stuff. We, like, look, there's a lot of things that you can look at indirectly, which is like the Crowney incident, right? Um, the Crowney incident is something that can be looked at indirectly. Um, the fact that they're coming out and responding to these statements the way that they are and the way that they're responding as kind of like a nothing burger. It was literally four paragraphs. It was not painting Adam's like character or persona or anything. It was simply stating things that uh, sources had confirmed were occurring for you know a year and a half or something. And then obviously things don't make sense. And like even even public can realize that things do not make sense and things don't add up. That's pretty much it.